working on something called a scratch board. Okay, uh, scratch boards actually come in big sheets like this. This is a scratch board. Uh, it's actually a special type of paper. One side, it's this paper, mm. and then they put a special black coating on the white paper. Mm. So uh, the, the side that we use is black. Okay, but the thing about scratch boards is, is uh, if you use a special knife, you can actually scratch off the black. And I'll just show you on a sample scratch board here. Uh, if you use a knife and you scratch, basically the, the black comes off and it turns white. Okay? okay. Um, we're going to be using knives to do this project, not pencils. Okay? So, um, but this is the same idea as what we did last week. Remember I gave you white, uh, black paper last week? And I gave you white Conti crayons? And last week, everything that was white uh, we drew in. Mm. Everything that's black, we leave. So the same idea with uh, this type of um, project. Okay, we only scratch the white, we leave the black stuff, and if it's gray, we have to scratch off a little bit of it. I'll show you some examples um, from this book. Okay, uh, Many students have done these before. Some of these are from the internet, but you can see um, they end up being black and white uh, images. Uh, this is a photocopy I put on blue paper, but it's originally white, okay? Mm. And so uh, you can see that in these pictures, um, the person only scratched out the white stuff, the black is just left behind, and then if, if there's special details like hair or shadows, you scratch out a little bit and it looks gray, mm. okay? So um, you're going to be doing three of these over the next two classes. Um, today, we're going to be working with two small ones this size. Oh no, this is something else. But we're going to be working uh, with two small ones like this today. And then next Friday, you'll be getting one that's double the size. It'll be this size. Okay. So how do, you, how do you start doing these scratch boards? Well, first, you have to find an idea that you want to use. And uh, I found this shoe. It's a dark blue shoe with white laces and a white sole and there's a little bit of shading. So the very first thing you do is when you get a scratch board, right, bring out your art pencil and you can sketch in faintly some of the lines. Okay, you can draw in. But make sure you don't press too hard. Okay? Because if you press too hard, your pencil might accidentally scratch out some of the black. So uh, be very gentle. Okay, and if you make a mistake, you have to use the special soft eraser to erase things because um, pink erasers are too uh, rough and they, they might also scratch out some of the things. Okay, so you just kind of sketch out uh, areas that you know are white and uh, areas that are gray you can kind of shade in just so you remember what parts are gray. Okay, but the most important thing is uh, you you kind of make a note of where all the white stuff is, okay? Because those are going to be the areas that you scratch out at the end, okay? So I'm just sketching out some guidelines, okay? And then uh, once you've done that, you can start, okay? So the very first thing you have to know is that uh, you can always scratch a little to begin with, and then you can scratch off more later. But don't scratch off too much right away because once you scratch it off you can't put it back on so you know uh, for example if I'm going to be doing this part here it's white you know solid white stuff is easy because you just scratch like that okay and uh, you're gonna have to practice you have to find out how hard you can press so I've got lots of scrap papers that you can use to test it out, you know, uh, because some people press too hard, some people press too light, but you have to figure out how hard and how to apply just the right amount of pressure to scratch off the amount that you need. Um, one mistake people make is some people press so hard on these like for example, 
this one, someone was scratching so hard they actually cut the paper. Okay, you don't want to press so hard that you damage the. If you scratch too hard, you can actually damage the white paper underneath, and that's not good. Okay, so it's quite gentle. Okay, you have to be quite gentle doing that. Okay, but that stuff is pretty easy. Okay, um, and then here are some white. Uh, stitching so you can just scratch in you know little details like that okay so remember this is still negative imaging you're only taking out what's white everything else that's black or in this case it's dark blue but we pretend it's black um, that we leave behind okay So, you know, some people kind of tell me, it's like, oh, this looks like those uh, scratch and win lottery tickets. Mm. Ever played those scratch and win tickets? Mm. Yeah. So, it's very similar. Okay. So, you can, after you're done, you can actually use the back side of the knife. And you can scratch off more using the flat edge. Okay. But this part is uh, almost done. Okay, I'm not going to do everything. I'm just showing you how you get started. Okay, but then if you look at the picture here, uh, it's white, and then there's a a little strip of dark blue, and then it's white again. So. That means I scratch out the white part here. And then I leave that black stripe, right? Okay, black and white stuff is very easy, okay? The hard part is grays, dark gray and light gray. Look at the shoe here, inside here, it's very dark, and then here it's medium dark, and then here's light. So dark, medium, light. Okay. So in here, the top part here, um, first first of all, there's like a little part here that's really bright. So I'll just do an, a white edge. And you're allowed to turn your paper around um, as you're doing these. Sometimes it's easier turning the paper instead of turning your hand. Okay. But how do I make this part here? Well, one side is very dark, and then this side is very light. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to outline that part there. Okay, And so watch carefully. This part, where do you think I have to scratch off more? Here or here? Do I scratch off more here or scratch off more here? Here, more here. Yes. Okay. So on this side, I'll begin and do you guys remember what technique this is? No. What's the name of this technique? Um, I don't remember. Using lines. <laughs> do you remember that? Okay. Yeah, it's called. Oh, the shading method, isn't it? Yeah, the shading method is yes. called hatching. Okay, yeah. so I'm using lines, but what do you think I have to do to the lines as they get to this side? Make them more compact. Uh -huh. Okay, make them more compact, then it's gonna be more white. I want to make it darker as it go from here to here. That's nice. Okay, so I can. There's a couple ways I can do it. I can make them further apart. You see that? Mm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, can you tell one side is this side is uh, lighter, the side is darker. Okay, but that's one technique. If you're not satisfied with that, you can also add more lines. So what technique is this? Before it was 
hatching, now it's called shading. Cross hatching. That's another form of shading. Okay. okay. All right. So, can you tell this side if I if I want even more white here, I can scratch off even more. And I'm being very gentle. And what's happening as I scratch off more and more? It's lighter. Yeah, it's lighter. Okay, so if you look carefully now, one side is bright, one side is a bit darker. Okay, pretty cool, huh? All right, let's try some of the stuff down here. Now, down here, there's uh, some shading as well. Uh, there's a shoelace that's all white. So I'll outline the shoelace because that's going to be in front. Okay. And uh, I can add a bit of detail here. Shoelaces are actually kind of neat because uh, they got like little tiny fabric, little threads and stuff. So. I can add some detail. And if you press very gently, just tickle the paper, like lightly, you can add very fine, thin lines like I'm doing right now. Okay? So just press very gently and you can get very fine detail. Now, down here, it's a light shadow. So I'm going to. My preferred technique for making shadows using scratch boards is cross-hatching. So. I try to use straight or almost straight lines. It's hard to do perfectly straight. Okay, and then I want it to be uh, yeah, all the way through, so. Another shoelace. Okay. Now, what do you think I have to do? Everything around here on the outside is white. So, what do you think I have to do eventually if I want to make it the same as this? Yeah, so if I want to make everything white, the outside, I'll have to scratch off lots of the area surrounding the picture, surrounding this shoe. And I'm going to have to scratch off a lot of it because it's all white. I don't have to scratch it all off, but you know, you want to have different uh, uh, sh shades. Okay, so you know, once you're done, basically, you're going to have um, an image that's black and white, and uh, black and white and gray. Okay. Now, if you're doing this for the first time, I don't expect you to go as fast as I am, because I'm just demonstrating how this is done. Um, you guys should take your time. You get uh, four hours today to do two, so maybe two hours for one, and then next week when you get a bigger one, uh, I'll expect something with more detail. Okay, so take a look here for example. Uh, this is white inside, this is white here outside, and then you got the shoelace. So 
what I usually do is I'll do the shoelace first, very right, lightly. Okay. What kind of pictures do you think would make good scratch boards? Black and white. Black and white, yeah. So for the first one that you do today, you might want to just stick with something all black and white with not much shading or detail. The second one you do should have more uh, shading. And then the last one you do next week should be very uh, detailed with lots and lots of mm -hmm. shading. Yeah. And uh, it takes time, okay? But it's actually quite relaxing. I, I love doing these because once you're, once you get started and you're scratching away, it's, you know, it's quite a fun activity to do. Not very, it's not stressful at all, okay? It's, you'll quite enjoy it. You'll probably lose track of time today. You know, the time will go by real quick. Okay, so, so I've done that. So. Basically, I just have to get rid of all the stuff outside, too. And eventually, I'll be getting rid of all the other stuff outside the shoe. But I'm not... I'm not even finished, I'm not even halfway. I still have to get rid of a lot of other things. But what I wanted to show you is just that to do this, some parts you'll be taking off a lot, some parts you'll be leaving behind, like not scratching at all, and other parts you have to do some shading. So you're going to have to get uh, used to um, using this type of uh, material. Okay. Does anyone have any questions about this? Any questions at all? No? Okay. Uh, how much do scratch boards cost? They're very really expensive. Uh, that's why I can't give you guys a full sheet, but usually a sheet like this could be like uh, $2. So we cut them. Yeah. Oh. So, so we cut them into little smaller pieces so that, uh, you know, um, we have enough to go around. Okay. But, um, yeah, th this is a very fun activity and to buy scratch boards you have to go to craft stores or art stores you can't just buy them uh, at Superstore or Walmart you usually have to go to like a specialized art store to get it and um, I prefer using these knives but some people uh, some people like using pins or sewing needles or scissors but any anything sharp and um, anything uh, with a tip, you can probably try different things and see if it works for you. But I always end up using these knives because they're easy to hold and they're very sharp and they do a good job uh, for this type of assignment. Okay. So uh, if you want to try other knives as well, I've got other ones, but um, try this type of knife first because I've got lots of them. and. Um, uh, they're very easy to hold. Okay. Um, yeah, that's it. We can get started. But uh, please show me your idea first before you try it because I don't want you picking something too difficult. Um, but I don't want you taking something too easy either, right? So I'll tell you if it's easy or hard. And uh, The first one can be easy. The second one can be medium hard. And next week, uh, you should have something very detailed. Okay, um, so some of the ones that my students have done in the past are absolutely amazing. So uh, the amount of detail you can get, you know, they, they scratch this panda bear, uh, all this stuff, all these details, they actually 